Hey guys, this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm out working on my fence project today and I want to give you a quick tip on how to splice barbed wire the right way. When I say the right way, this is probably just my way. I'm not saying it's the only way to splice wire, but over the years I've seen a lot of people splice barbed wire incorrectly and it ends up with a poor fence that won't hold up and wires break over time. So before I show you how I splice the fence, I'm going to show you how not to splice wire. So if you're building a barbed wire fence, at some point you're going to come to the end of a roll and you've got to break out a new roll. And what I've seen a lot of people do over the years is they get to the end of their wire, they just bend it over like this, put it on the other wire, and bend that one over. Okay, and then just twist the two around themselves. And you end up with a splice that looks like this. And the problem with this is it's just not going to be a strong splice long term. If you stretch this wire very tight, it's going to kink both of these little loops right here. And a, kink wire, a kinked wire will break easily. And then you've got two pieces of wire that are constantly just pulling against each other. So this is not how you splice barbed wire fence. This will not hold up over time. Now, if you're a professional fence builder, you can go out and buy a set of crimpers that look like a set of bolt cutters and some little wire clamps and you can overlap the pieces of barbed wire together and crimp them together and it'll hold. I'm not a fan of those, but unless you're a professional fence builder, there's no reason to go spend your money on a tool that you're really not going to need. So I'm going to show you real quick how I was taught to splice two strands of barbed wire together. They'll stay tight. They'll hold tight together forever as long as the fence is up. So let me show you that real quick. So here's the end of my first roll of wire, and I'm just going to untwist the two strands. So barbed wire is just twisted together. I'm going to untwist it about 8 or 10 inches or so, so I have two individual strands. Then here's the new roll of barbed wire. I'm going to untwist it just the same. So if you can see this, here are my two pieces of wire and I'm just going to push them together until they meet right in those two valleys. Can you see that? See how they meet? And then, so this piece of wire is going to go this way and this piece of wire is going to go this way. Marry them together and then I'm going to take these two ends and twist them right where they meet. So this one, this piece is going to go this direction. I'm going to give it several good twists. So this one is going this way, this way, and I'm going to go opposite with the other tag end. Now on the other side we'll do the exact same thing. And this one, we'll twist it the opposite direction. I'm just going to trim those tag ends off. So there you have it. There's how I splice barbed wire together. This this twisted together wire will hold a lot stronger. When you put tension on it, it'll only cinch it down even tighter and it'll do a lot better than this style of splicing wire together. This won't hold up over time. This one will. And actually this one, if you can tell, is a lot cleaner, a lot neater, and it's a lot less noticeable. You put this in your fence line, to me that just looks bad. I don't like that at all. It looks, just looks ugly. So, guys, that's all I've got. Just a quick tip for the day on how to splice barbed wire together the right way. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, I've got a whole playlist of fence building videos. Go check those out. We've been doing a lot of fencing here on our property lately. Check those out in the playlist. And uh, if you're not subscribed to our channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. And you can crimp those two. So I'm going to show you real quick how I was taught to... Um,
clamp those two wires together. You overlap them and clamp them. Is that a gum phone? <laughs>